in here, welcome. I am currently 12 and a half weeks pregnant, so I'm cruising along in my pregnancy so far. I've been sharing updates as I go, and today's will be my eight to 12 week update, so I can't believe it's already flown by that fast. There's a lot going on in the world with uh, quarantine, COVID-19, um, those rhyme, and coronavirus. So it's really such a serious and intense time in the world, and I definitely wanna to touch on that in this video. But also I like to keep things positive and upbeat and lighthearted. So if you do like mommy content, um, baby and newborn content, home decor, cooking, all that kind of thing, I love doing that on my channel. I am a new channel, so consider subscribing. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up as well. And let's get started. Whew, I'm already winded and we're just starting this video. So it should be interesting. And in true fashion, I have notes that I took on my phone. I just take like a little screenshot. Um, and I have a lot to say. So first of all, if you are in quarantine, um, as I am in the state of Arizona, I am in a personal quarantine. We're not completely shut down yet. So I know barbershops are closed, hair salons, restaurants, you can get to go food and things like that. But um, my heart just goes out to the entire world um, during this time. If anyone's lost anyone, anyone is sick, anyone is suffering from a job loss or from anything, emotional health, mental health, whatever it is, my heart goes out to you, you are in my prayers. Please reach out to me. If there's any way that I can help, I'd be glad to. And um, yeah, I just really am thinking about the nurses and doctors in the world who are the true heroes doing everything on the front lines. So I just wanna say that I'm not gonna make this video about myself with the quarantine. I just wanna let you know that I am in quarantine as a pregnant person. Um, certain ways that it has affected me are small, um, but I would say that I am lucky to be safe in a warm house. I'm grateful for food and water and um, the ability to stay at home. I am a photography teacher, so I teach my photography classes right now online because the schools are closed. So we're still open online till mid-May um, and I am doing this and I'm also done with my photo business for a little while since I can't be in contact with people so it's been a very unusual time but again i'm just praying for anybody that's suffering out there and um, i'm here for you other small ways that it's been affecting me um, just if you're curious with pregnancy and early term pregnancy um, it is scary um, i'm definitely thinking about all the moms that are about to go in labor i do have some friends that are about to have their babies and i'm just praying for them that they can have a support person in the room i've heard mixed reviews about that and I've heard um, some moms have multiple children and so the spouse has to stay home and they have to deliver alone. So I'm just thinking about all you mamas out there that are experiencing those things and just everybody who might be suffering or going through a really hard time. Um, for me personally, I've only really had to wear a mask and wait in my car at my uh, doctor's appointment that I had yesterday. Wear gloves, bring your own pen, um, Purell, be really careful. Um, not to use restrooms if you can try to avoid it because those are public places um, and just be extremely cautious. My husband does the grocery shopping right now um, and it's just a really weird time for everyone. So um, I will be praying for you and I'm going to share some more lighthearted stuff in this video and just how it's been going for me. All right, so in my notes here I put for 8 to 12 weeks. So early on in the 8 weeks, I said around 7-8 weeks, I've been getting really sick. Um, so that kind of started to subside only this week. So I am 12 and a half weeks and right around 12 weeks I started to feel a little bit better. I get way less nauseous. I'm not taking those preggy pops anymore. So as long as I'm waking up and I have plenty of water and I have breakfast and I try to just get really good sleep, um, it seems to have been helping. So I get sick a lot less often. And what else did I put on here? Hopefully that'll get better even as the weeks go on. I hear by like week 14, I've heard from some people it's done, week 16 it's done. So it's just personal to every pregnancy, but I'm really hoping that mine will not be miserable the whole time. Um, I'm just super grateful to be pregnant and happy to be pregnant. So I'm trying to just focus on the good. So if you hear some like rumbling in the background with rocks and things, my husband's out there picking weeds. So we're getting a little stir crazy around here and trying to find lists of things to do. So he's picking all the weeds. Thanks, babe. Um, another thing I have on my list here is loving leggings. So I cannot stand anything tight on my belly right now. That's another new thing is that I do have a little belly and I'm sharing a picture today on my Instagram of the belly bump and how it's been growing. And I was actually really surprised that I had one already. I was kind of thinking that I didn't and then I wore a really tight dress and I was like, oh yeah, 
there is no hiding that. So where is my leggings? I wanted to show you. So I have these LuLaRoe black basic leggings. They have really a lot of stretch in them. And my sister used to have a LuLaRoe business. And so she was really nice enough to give me several of those, which have been amazing. I also really want to try the Ingrid and Isabella ones. Um, and I just ordered, well, I totally splurged and I ordered a pair of blue, blue lemons because I just hear so many amazing things by Becca Bristow on YouTube, Alex Garza, several other mommies who have been through this and I just really trust their advice and I love Lululemon, I mean who doesn't, but it is such a splurge so I just went ahead and treated myself to one since I know I will be living in them. I mentioned in my last video too on the subject of leggings, if they put the word maternity in front of it, they jack up the prices. So just go for something stretchy, something super comfortable if you're pregnant like me you're not sure what to do with your body, just as long as you're comfortable, that really helps with the nausea too. I've noticed if I wear too tight of clothing, I just automatically get sick. So I've even switched out my bras. So I'll link some bras below that I've tried on Amazon that I've been loving. And they are also um, postpartum bras too. So for nursing and things like that. So they're awesome and I love them. What's another thing on my list? I have been adding in hot green tea. So one hot green tea a day, I just make it at home and it's super helpful to give me kind of like a pep in my step in the morning. I'm a coffee lover and I don't know if you've watched my other videos, but I'm having a huge aversion to coffee right now. I cannot stand the flavor. I can't stand the smell of it. It's just so strange. I can't even have it cold. So I have some girlfriends who are pregnant and they're like, iced coffee is so good, but no, not at all. So for me, a hot green tea seems to be helping. I can keep it down and it gives me a little energy too. All right, so some more facts for you. Unisom, I mentioned Unisom from my doctor um, in one of my last videos, but it's a sleep aid. So apparently that with B6, vitamin B6 helps reduce nausea. She told me to upgrade. I was taking half of a Unisom with a B6 every night and I have had trouble sleeping. So she made me take a whole one with B6 and I put them together and I've been getting a lot less sick. So that's been a perk and better sleep, so. The green tea I think helps kind of pet me up in the morning, but other than that, it's working for me. So ask your doctor and see if that's something that they recommend for you. Yes, I saw my baby. So it's such a weird time right now because they don't print photos anymore of the baby. So you know those typical like beautiful, um, long ultrasound pictures that you can kind of stretch out and take all the cute Pinterest pictures with. They're no longer printing the photos, at least not in my uh, doctor's office or in a couple of the other ones they had me visit. Um, they just email them to you. So after your appointments, they get your email from you and they say, okay, within a few minutes to an hour to a couple days, we'll send you all the pictures and then you have to print them. So for me, as a photo teacher, it would have been easy for me to be able to print just at my job um, a couple of pictures, but I mean, I'm not able to go to work right now with the quarantine going on um, due to COVID and so COVID-19. So I'm like, what do I do? So I just hopped on to a couple of my favorite stores um, Print shops really are Social Print Studio, Artifact Uprising, um, Mpix, and a few others, and I just kind of shopped around for good deals, and they had like a 40% off, I want to say, at Artifact Uprising the other day, and then Social Print Studio is this really like soft and luxurious paper, I can't even explain it, but highly recommend, super affordable, so ordered a couple of those, and hopefully the prints will come in, and I'll share some pictures of the baby soon, so... Um, I did the nuchal translucency test for the neck and um, they poke your finger. <laughs> that actually was really painful, I'm not gonna lie, super painful. And then they kind of like dot it on this paper to test. So I get those results back soon and baby looks good and baby has all its parts, hands, feet, toes, legs. Um, it's got its cute little profile. Um, my husband had his face like this in the bed the other day when we were waking up. and. It looked exactly like the baby's profile. So I'm like, I think the baby's gonna look like him, but we shall see. Okay, so for food aversions, I've had the same food aversions pretty much my whole pregnancy. So obviously the coffee thing, that's not really a food, it's like a drink, but food aversions are definitely coffee. Um, I can't stand salmon and it's so weird because I love salmon. If you've seen my keto salmon videos back when I was doing keto, obsessed and I still love salmon and I just, it sounds horrible to me. So I've just not been doing that. Um, any fish really just sounds gross. Um, what else? Vegetables, been having a hard time with vegetables, but salads do sound good. So I'm trying to not have too many raw things right now, make sure things are cooked so that, you know, for germs and everything and it's healthy. But yeah, just really that's it. 
Other than that, um, I have a huge craving for chicken parmesan. So my husband got some chicken, we have parmesan, we have the sauce. So hopefully tonight I can make a little chicken parm and do something kind of fun to look forward to in this whole quarantine situation. <laughs> Yes, and also the baby is the size of a lime. So the lime is about this big, it says on the app. Um, I love the app called um, What to Expect When You're Expecting. There's all kinds of pluses on there. You know what fruit size your baby is, fun facts about your baby. There's like a message board with other moms who are pregnant in the month that you're expecting, which is super cool. My friend pointed that out to me. I also love the Pregnancy Plus app because it gives you a virtual kind of preview of what your baby's looking like. So, um, so from head to toe, it kind of shows you in um, the scale of the size of your phone. So I love that one. And I also like the OV app. So check and compare all the fruit sizes and food sizes on all the apps, but baby is the size of a lime. It's healthy and growing and it has the cutest little profile, the button nose, and I just can't wait to meet my little baby. So next time I get to see my baby will be May uh, 28th. So I'm super excited for more updated pictures, anatomy scan, and yeah, we're just super grateful and super blessed. Um, even though my husband, I guess that's another thing, and they're not allowing spouses or anyone in the ultrasound rooms with you or in any of the tests with you. So right now with the whole coronavirus going on, no one can go with you to any of your tests or appointments. So that's been really sad because I haven't been able to film any videos for my husband or FaceTime him. I know that some offices allow it. I went to one that's not my doctor's office and they were not nice about that. So I'm actually just gonna go to my doctor from now on for those and they did let me originally film a video. So I don't know if you'll be able to or not. You might be able to FaceTime, but something to consider. So the photos were super nice for my husband to see and it's just kind of fun for us to get excited in that way. Okay, so a couple of random things I put on my list here. We did put our puppy in dog training. So we have a 13 month old German Shepherd, his name is Bruno, and he is the love of our little life. He's just so sweet and so cute, but he is a handful and he's a puppy. And we're trying to teach him not to jump and not to play bite and all this stuff. And he's so, so sweet. He's a very, very good dog, but he does those puppy things that are not gonna be good for a newborn baby on the way. So we decided to look up different trainers in our area. We found one that we really love. So when he gets back, we get like kind of a final take on it, a final review on it. We'll definitely share what dog training service it was if you're in Arizona like us. And we're just super excited. We think it's gonna be really good for um, us. We do get to go in for two of the trainings with him. You can do follow-up training as well, but he learns basic things like no jumping, no um, play biting, wait for us when we're on a walk and all this stuff. That's gonna be really good with a newborn baby laying around. So we think that's a nice little thing to get ready for as well. So a couple of the fun items that I've been loving so far. I hopped on Amazon and I got two of these. So they are the, without the glare, hopefully from my lights. This is the Boppy Pregnancy Wedge. It is the Jersey Slipcover Wedge from Amazon. I'll link it for you. I heard about these from Alex Garza. I love her channel. Her vlog channel with her husband is like the cutest thing in the world too. Alex and Michael, so check them out. But she recommended having one of these. So if you're like kind of laying on your couch at a weird angle on your belly, uh, you know, my belly isn't huge yet, but even so, being small, it feels really good to have it kind of comforted when I lean to the side there, plop it on the couch, lay it in bed with me. So I got two of them so that if I switch either side, my doctor doesn't want me to lay on my back. So, and I'm not laying on my stomach. So I'm just really excited about these. Another fun thing that I got, I think you saw, if you watched my last video, I had a muslin blanket that said, I love you, I love you on it. But I found this kind of really plush one from Target that's the same company that made the other one. But this one is very thick and this is like a teal. So don't be confused that it's blue. We don't know the gender of the baby yet. It's kind of a pretty teal. So I thought that's relatively gender neutral for boy or girl. But I love that it says I love you all over it. I thought it'd be really cute. The photographer in me is like, I want to lay it down and put my baby on it and take all kinds of cute little milestone pictures of them. So love that. I will link that from Target for you and a couple other things too. A couple more things from Amazon. So this is a heating pad, pain relief from Mighty Bliss. So I got this on Amazon. Been having a little bit of back pain, not crazy bad, but on occasion my back just kills me. So I'm gonna pop this in. I really haven't used it yet, so hopefully it's good. So I can't really tell you if it's good or not, but came highly reviewed on Amazon Prime and honestly anything that's gonna kind of give me some relief because I'm not taking any medicine. 
besides the sleep aid and the B6 and the vitamins. I wanna definitely check that out. Oh yes, super cute shoes that I got. So if you're looking for kind of pregnancy style, I did wanna kind of up my game. I wanna be cute and I wanna feel really good, especially staying home and having like nowhere to go, nothing to do. I keep the mental health in check and have stuff to look forward to. So I got these really cute Roxy shoes. They were highly reviewed on Amazon. And I just put them on for an Instagram picture and they are literally the squishiest thing. They came with a sticker that was inside that said squish me. And look at this cute kind of like boho um, decal on the back. And they are laceless. So they're the kind that you can kind of like pull down and just pop your foot into. So these are adorable, especially with spring coming. It's kind of fun to just throw on a little dress. These are from Target, by the way. So this is from Target. I love this little dress. Um, that I just took an Instagram picture in, so I will be sharing that, like I said, on my Instagram, so check it out if you want to see the bump and all that. Um, a couple other cute dresses that I got from Target. This is a really pretty blue stripey one. It is a short dress, and then I got this. These are all universal threads. I got this green one. It's pretty little sleeves on it. Look at these cute little sleeves with a button. And then another kind of red ones. I have this sort of mauve floral, and then I got this longer, smaller print red one. They're all really affordable from Target. And then one last thing that I've been loving. <laughs> okay, I know that the Barefoot Dreams blanket is super over saturated when it's talking about it on YouTube. A lot of bloggers and all these things have been talking about it, but they're right and they're awesome. And so my sister actually, had the Barefoot Dreams blanket on her Christmas list. I went shopping with my great aunt for this, for her, and actually I saw one at Nordstrom, Nordstrom's Rack. So they're normally really expensive, like 100 to $150 or something like that. Just crazy for a blanket. I'm like, go to TJ Maxx and get something easy. But anyway, we saw these for, I wanna say $40 or 45 at Nordstrom's Rack. And this was during Christmas Black Friday and they also had different discounts at Nordstrom's Rack. So we got this for super dirt cheap. Mine has like a little gray stripe on it, it's white. I hold on to this at night, I tuck it in between my legs, I roll onto my side with it. It's just like a snuggly little friend that really helps you when you can't sleep. I've been sleeping, you know, kind of rough sometimes or you just have to get up so much to go to the bathroom. So a really soft blanket is a great idea and if they have them at Nordstrom's Rack, try to get it there. It is totally worth the hype, I know. People are like, oh, they always talk about Barefoot Dreams on YouTube, but trust me, I was thinking the same thing. I got one and I'm completely obsessed with it. I will never get it, give it up. And you can also take baby pictures on it. So if you're a photographer like me or you're interested in cute pictures of your baby, it's super cute and comfortable. So definitely check them out. In my way here to the bottom of my list, I do want to say a couple last things. Um, hopefully we're going to be starting our nursery soon. So we have a guest room at the very end of our house. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but my husband's parents both passed away within 15 months um, the last year. And we just have a bunch of their stuff and we have a lot to go through that very special stuff to my husband and myself um, and kind of organize. Um, but we want to make the very end hallway bedroom in our house super cute and ready for the nursery. So. Hopefully we'll clean that out and get that ready soon. Um, we're thinking like shiplap and neutral Pottery Barn-esque vibes. We don't know the gender yet still, so we wanna kinda have it be gender neutral and then just add to it once we know. Speaking of which, gender. So our birthdays are in May. Mine is May 2nd and my husband is May 24th. So we're thinking that we'll do a gender reveal of some kind for each other um, to look forward to since we're in quarantine. You can do a finger prick test. One of my friends, hi Erin, if you're watching this, um, recommended in a text to me, she found a sneak peek test. And I don't know what it costs. You can do like a cheaper one or a more expensive one and you prick your finger at home, it's very safe, you mail it in and then they email you the results. So we're thinking about doing that for our birthdays. And what else? My sister gave me a bunch of handout. Uh, hand me downs for the baby and they're super cute and gender neutral so thanks sissy and um love you brief and yeah i'm just getting really excited for the baby i can't wait to find out the gender so that i can start shopping for little outfits and things so many things are on sale right now with this coronavirus so if anything please support local businesses 
Please support shops that you believe in and love. My sister owns a shop. I will link her shop below. She has amazing dresses for the spring. Um, she's even selling really delicious popcorn and she's gonna open her shop in Arizona soon. So look out for that. Um, but yeah, just support local restaurants. I'm trying to do the same. I'm really being cautious when we do it. So just drive up, pick up with gloves and everything on, um, but support them, support the economy. And I will be praying for you all. I hope that you're staying safe out there during this really crazy time and sending you my love and prayers and thanks so much for watching.